Okay, I want to talk to you today about how we're going to use Pages, which is a program kind of like Microsoft Word, for students to be able to write and edit documents and then send them to you with a technology called AirDrop. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you on, for example, on your teacher iPad, well, here's the big picture. The students will create a document and it'll automatically save on their iPad and then they will when they're finished send it wirelessly to your iPad so on your iPad you'll swipe up from the bottom and I don't know if you've ever seen this option down here where it says airdrop what you want to do is say you want it to be available for every everyone and so what that does is makes your uh, iPad to where it can be discovered by others so this is my iPad it's kind of all kinds of junk on it so I'm just going to swipe down to get to Pages. I've got Pages on here. I've used it some to test some things out uh, in the past, but I'm going to go ahead and just create a new document. This is what students will do. We'll have a keyboard that students can type with and a doc. And so I'm going to just kind of plug away with my finger just to kind of give you an idea. But it can be landscape. It can be any number of things. I'm just going to do blank and then they can do whatever you need to do. Uh, I'm just going to type testing, uh, return, and again there's a lot of functions. I'm not going to go necessarily into that. I'm, the most important thing is, is uh, at, I'm going to go ahead and click up here where it says blank. I'm going to name it Tom's Test. Now let's say the bell rings and or, and you're done, the student could just hit stop like that, and you, they go out for reassess. They come back into pages, it could bring them right back in. If you hit documents, you'll see it's over here, the second one. So, if a student uses the same iPad all the time and you share with a neighbor, you will have two students that have to share their documents together. So, at most, you might have a little bit of mix up, but it's between two students, the students in your class. So I would always make Tom use number one, and then in somebody else's class that you share with, you know, I think you, we can get by, and, and hopefully people won't step on each other and mess around with each other's work. But this is kind of how it works. They can write their paper, whatever your assignment is, and then to turn it in, there's the share icon, which is the, looks like a little paper, this one up here, uh, looks like uh, as an up arrow we're going to share it now instead of emailing it or printing it and so forth we're going to do things in 2016 which is we're going to send a copy to you so you, they will choose send a copy it's already saved on their computer now here's the the part that's kind of interesting we do not have currently pages on all your if they were to send it to you in pages format and you try to open it up on your ipad you may not have pages yet not saying we can't get it. I don't. I doubt if you have it. But all the iPads that we have have pages on it. So we do have Word, and PDF is something that every machine computer can open up or iPad. So I'm just going to do Word. I'm going to send it in Word format, and it's going to convert it. Now here's what's interesting. We're doing up here at the top. It says tap to share with AirDrop. So what? the student iPad will see is your iPad because you'll have yours to be discovered to be on and actually your computer if it should when we updated your computer this summer one of the things I wanted it to be able to do is airdrop so if you're within range within I think like 30 feet or so hopefully your computer will show up I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the computer I tap and that's a picture of my computer I tap it it'll make a little circle and then on my computer, what it's done is sent that file in my downloads folder. And you'll get a little beep. And then when you open it up, it'll be in Word format. So you can grade it and kind of take a look at it. So we're going to start with Pages because there's lots of fun things you can do with it. It's built into the iPads. That's not to say we're not going to look at Google Docs and so forth uh, to do some things. But to start with, we're going to, in, to do... Uh, production to write a report. We're going to start off with pages. It looks like this icon. Uh, give you a little 
down the road the next thing we'll try to work on and I don't think we have it pushed out yet or we will push out eventually to you is Keynote which is kinda like PowerPoint and students would be able to create a little presentation uh, and you'll follow directions we won't use the iCloud we'll create a presentation and for example let's say it's this and I'm just picking this one double tap test but again here's that little share icon you click that we're going to send a copy to you again. Now, again, you may not have Keynote on your computer because that's the Apple version of like PowerPoint. So we'll choose PowerPoint. And the students will, it's going to convert it here. And what we're going to do is send a copy of that to you via AirDrop again or to my computer. Hopefully your iPad and your computer will show up for them as a choice. And I'm going to go ahead and send that and I received it and I could open it up on my computer so and again presentations is kinda like you will see from whenever you start it up there's there's what I created there's a new one and again if you have the same student use the same iPad all the time their stuff will be private from others and so forth so um, pull it back up whether whatever it is whether it's uh, pages or keynote we can also um, Send it, well, we'll go ahead and we'll be able to airplay it. I don't know if it's that button here, I think. Oh, that does a presentation. It's, we'll be able to have them, and I don't remember right off the top of my head uh, exactly where it is. Let's see. I don't think it's send a copy. I think it's this one. Uh, but I'll send a different one to you on how we'll be able, if they're sitting at their iPad, they'll be able to put it up on, to airplay it up to your Apple TV. So today's lesson was really about, the goal is to have pages and Keynote. We're going to try to get that on. The older students, probably grades 3 through 5, maybe go down lower on uh, the iPads. They have keyboard things, uh, keyboard docs. You set it in there so the kids will be able to type as fast as they want and they'll be able to write and so forth. And we'll just kind of take it one step at a time and we'll be able to do some really powerful things as the year goes on.